Hi, my name is Rudy Jalapeno. Welcome to Five Minutes or Less, the movie show where we talk about films in five minutes or less. Uh, today we're going to talk about the horror thriller Don't Breathe, starring Stephen Lang, Jane Levy, and Dylan Minnette. Now, uh, side note, we are doing, I am doing this show in the dark right now. I figured it'd kind of be cool if I'm reviewing a horror thriller to have it done in the dark. However, I did not realize it would look as scary as it does, so we're going to go through this really, really quick. The movie Don't Breathe starts out as a, as a group of friends who break into a house to rob a blind man. Um, and whenever they do, they actually get more than they bargain for as they are robbing a blind war veteran. And he, they, they, they kind of bite off more than they can chew with, with this bank job. Now, the story goes by very, very quick. It goes by a very, very frenetic pace. Um, it's it's good like, like the film is really really good it's exciting um, you're on the edge of your seat a lot of the times the performances are great Stephen Lang you may remember him from the movie Avatar he starred as the colonel in that film he does a great job as the blind war veteran and he's scary as all get out you seriously do not want to meet this guy in a blind alley or even run into his house whenever he's angry now, uh, Jane Levy, you may remember her from the Evil Dead remake that came out a couple years ago. She's a lot more believable and a lot more memorable in this film. Personally, that's how I feel about it. Dylan Minnette, you may remember him from the movie Goosebumps that came out earlier in the beginning of the year. Now, I actually really liked Goosebumps a lot. It seemed like a kid's movie, but I really enjoyed it and really liked it. I saw it twice in the movie theaters. That's how much I liked it. Now, the movie itself moves along with beautiful camera work that doesn't just keep you focused on what's going on. It actually makes you anticipate what's about to happen. There's a very, very tense scene on a plate of glass um, that I cannot go into. You just, you just have to watch. It's, it's very, very good. And, and again, it just drives you crazy with how tense it makes you. Now, um, the film itself leaves tiny hints as to what's going to be going on uh, later on in the movies. Um, but it still manages to surprise you with a lot of twists and turns. So it's like whenever you're watching the movie, you're not like, oh, I know what's going to happen here. I know what's going to happen there. You kind of think you do, but you really don't. It's really good with the surprises and twists and turns. There's so much richness to the story that I honestly can't really go into it too deep without going into spoiler territory. So uh, you're just going to have to see the film for yourself. Again, I really enjoyed it. I really liked it. Now, I do need to say, this movie is not for kids. <laughs> not at all. Um, especially the third act. Uh, there's a, The third act is pretty disturbing. And it actually was so disturbing, it brought my score down a little. Um, so for me personally, it, it brought my score down. So just to kind of wrap everything up here, um, the movie itself, uh, I, w I wanted to give about four stars. However, with what happens in the third act, that really brought down my enjoyment factor. Um, <laughs> down to like three and a half stars so the film again it's good the pacing is is perfect the story is very rich very uh, engrossing it, it pulls you in and just the camera work the camera work is really really the star of this movie because the the movie moves along at a, at a really 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 good pace but the star of the show is really the camera work you know taking this type of concept of breaking into a blind man's house. Um, it's really simple to fall back on things like jump scares or characters making stupid decisions and doing stupid things. But the movie itself is, is very, very um, well structured. And the, the camera work carries you along throughout the story to where you feel like you're there. And it really keeps keeps you tense and on the edge of your seat the entire time so um again for me three and a half stars i really liked it enjoy it just be wary of the last act because it gets a little weird so my name is rudy jalapeno saying to follow me on twitter snapchat facebook um instagram all those at rudy jalapeno and don't forget eat your cereal with a fork and do your homework in the dark